The Apache people represent one of the most fascinating examples of indigenous North American population genetics, embodying a complex tapestry of ancient migrations, cultural adaptations, and resilience in the face of historical upheaval. Their genetic origins tell a story that spans millennia, from the earliest peopling of the Americas through distinctive Arctic connections, southward migrations, and the profound demographic impacts of European arrival. Understanding Apache genetic heritage requires examining multiple layers of ancestry, from deep Pleistocene roots to more recent historical admixture, all while recognizing how genetic data intersects with linguistic, archaeological, and cultural evidence to paint a comprehensive picture of Apache origins and identity. The foundation of Apache genetic ancestry lies in the broader story of Native American population genetics, which itself reflects one of humanity's most remarkable migration events. Like all indigenous peoples of the Americas, Apache populations carry the genetic signature of the initial peopling of the New World, likely occurring during the late Pleistocene period through Beringian land bridge crossings and coastal migrations. However, what sets Apache people apart genetically is an additional layer of ancestry that connects them to later population movements across the North Pacific and Arctic regions, distinguishing them from many other Native American groups and linking them to the broader Nadine linguistic family. Recent archaeogenomic research has revolutionized our understanding of Apache genetic origins by identifying a distinctive ancestral component that connects Nadine speaking peoples, including all Apache groups, to ancient Arctic populations known as Paleo-Eskimos. This connection represents one of the most significant findings in Native American population genetics, as it demonstrates that the genetic landscape of indigenous North America reflects multiple waves of migration and contact rather than a single founding event. The Paleo-Eskimo-related ancestry found in Apache populations derives from North Pacific and Siberian sources that contributed genetic material to both the Sakok and Dorset cultures of the Arctic, as well as to the ancestors of modern Nadine speakers. This Paleo-Eskimo connection is not merely theoretical, but has been robustly demonstrated through multiple analytical approaches in population genetics. Studies utilizing F-statistics, rare allele sharing methods, and haplotype analysis consistently recover this distinctive ancestry component, with the signal being strongest in northern Athabascan populations and maintaining detectable levels in southern Athabascans, including Apache and Navajo groups. The genetic signature represents post-first peopling contact across Beringian and Arctic corridors during the Holocene period, suggesting ongoing population movements and genetic exchange long after the initial colonization of the Americas. The chronological framework of Apache genetic history becomes clearer when examining the southward migration of Athabascan-speaking peoples from their ancestral homelands in the subarctic. Linguistic evidence strongly supports a relatively recent southward movement of Athabascan speakers. This time frame aligns remarkably well with archaeological evidence, including the appearance of distinctive Athabascan material culture signatures across the central and northern plains through the Rocky Mountain corridors, and ultimately into the American Southwest. Archaeological correlates of this migration include the Dismal River aspect, which is widely associated with historic Plains Apache groups, particularly the Kiowa Apache, and closely related Eastern Apache branches, including the Jicarilla and Lipan. The material culture evidence suggests a migration route that brought Athabascan speakers through the Plains and Mountain corridors before their diversification into the distinct Apache groups, encountered by European explorers and settlers. Contemporary genome-wide studies of Apache populations reveal a genetic architecture consisting of three primary components that reflect different historical periods and population interactions. The dominant component represents core First American ancestry shared across indigenous North America, connecting Apache people to the broader Native American genetic continuum. The second component consists of the modest but consistently detectable Paleo-Eskimo-related signal that characterizes Nadini speakers. The third component represents later admixture from European, and in some communities African and Mexican, sources during colonial and post-colonial periods. The relative proportions of these ancestry components vary among different Apache groups and individuals, reflecting both their shared heritage and the unique historical experiences of different communities. Apache populations, like other Native American groups, are characterized by the presence of the major founding maternal lineages designated as haplogroups A2, B2, C1, and D1. However, Apache-specific samples frequently show enrichment for A lineages and substantial representation of B lineages. 
with C lineages appearing at lower frequencies, paternal genetic lineages analysed through Y chromosome studies offer complementary insights into Apache genetic history and population movements. The Y chromosome landscape of native North America is dominated by haplogroup QM3, which represents the major paternal lineage associated with the initial peopling of the Americas. Among Nadine speakers, however, an additional distinctive paternal lineage, CP39, provides a genetic signature that peaks in northern Athabascan groups and occurs at lower frequencies in more southerly populations, including Apache groups. Contemporary Apache populations typically show predominance of Q lineages with variable representation of CP39 and post-contact European paternal lineages such as R, 1, B and I. Trade relationships and conflicts with Uto-Aztecan speakers and Plains groups further shaped Apache genetic and cultural heritage, while major demographic pressures from Comanche and Ute expansions on the southern plains particularly affected eastern Apache groups, such as the Jicarilla and Lipan. These groups responded to demographic pressure through relocation, alliance formation and cultural blending, all of which had genetic consequences that contributed to the mosaic of Apache ancestry observed today. The genetic effects of these pre-contact interactions help explain some of the variation observed among different Apache groups and demonstrate the dynamic nature of indigenous population relationships in pre-Columbian North America. The colonial period and subsequent wars with Spanish, Mexican and United States governments had profound demographic impacts on Apache populations that left lasting genetic signatures. Spanish entradas reached Apache homelands in the 16th century, initiating cycles of raiding, alliance formation and mission encounters that continued through the Mexican period. The intensity of these interactions varied among different Apache groups, but generally involved demographic disruption and opportunities for genetic admixture with European and Mexican populations. The United States period brought particularly severe demographic challenges for Apache peoples, exemplified by events such as the Bascom Affair, which precipitated decades of warfare. The conflicts that followed involved prominent Apache leaders such as Cochise and later Geronimo, culminating in the 1886 deportation of hundreds of Chiricahua Apache as prisoners of war to Florida and Alabama. These forced removals and imprisonment lasted until 1913, when surviving Apache were finally released with some settling at Fort Sill and others joining relatives at Mescalero. The demographic bottlenecks created by warfare, disease and imprisonment had severe genetic consequences for Apache populations. Population geneticists can detect the signatures of these bottlenecks in contemporary Apache genetic data through reduced genetic diversity and increased genetic drift effects. The severe population reductions experienced by some Apache groups created founder effects that continue to influence the genetic structure of descendant communities. Understanding these historical demographic impacts is crucial for interpreting contemporary Apache genetic patterns and recognizing how historical trauma translated into biological consequences that persist across generations. The genetic foundations of Apache identity find their most profound expression through ceremonial and spiritual traditions that have persisted across centuries of upheaval. Central to Apache religious life are the mountain spirit dances, known as gan or crown dances, performed by masked dancers who embody supernatural beings believed to dwell in sacred mountains. These ceremonies represent far more than cultural performance. They constitute living connections to ancestral teachings that likely traveled south with the Athabascan migration, adapting to new landscapes while maintaining core spiritual concepts. The genetic continuity revealed through DNA studies parallels the ceremonial continuity that has maintained Apache spiritual identity across generations. The Apache coming-of-age ceremony for young women, known as the Sunrise Ceremony or Na'i'i's, represents one of the most elaborate and significant rites of passage in North American indigenous traditions. During this four-day ceremony, the initiate embodies Changing Woman, the central female deity of Apache cosmology, associated with renewal, fertility, and the cyclical nature of life. The ceremony's complexity and spiritual depth reflect the sophisticated theological concepts that Apache peoples developed in their southwestern homeland, demonstrating how genetic heritage intersected with environmental and cultural adaptation to create distinctive Apache spiritual traditions. Apache artistic traditions reveal the intersection of ancient genetic heritage with innovative cultural adaptation in their new southwestern environment. Western Apache coiled basketry represents one of North America's most sophisticated textile arts, with master weavers creating intricate olas and ceremonial trays, featuring complex geometric and representational motifs. 
These baskets serve practical, ceremonial and economic functions within Apache communities, embodying both aesthetic achievement and cultural knowledge transmission. The techniques and designs reflect generations of accumulated knowledge, passed down through maternal lineages that genetic studies now reveal extend back to the Athabascan migration and beyond to Arctic ancestral populations. Perhaps most remarkable among Apache cultural innovations is the Apache fiddle, or Tisai Edo Atl, literally meaning wood that sings. This unique indigenous bowed instrument, constructed from agave stalks or corn stems with horsehair strings, represents a singular musical innovation documented since the 19th century. Unlike other Native American musical traditions that primarily employ drums, flutes and vocal music, the Apache fiddle tradition suggests either independent invention or creative adaptation of European string instrument concepts. The instrument's construction from local desert plants demonstrates the innovative adaptation that characterized Apache responses to their southwestern environment, while its integration into ceremonial and social contexts reflects the maintenance of cultural patterns brought from northern ancestral territories. Apache social organization reflects the complex interplay between genetic heritage and cultural adaptation that characterizes their historical experience. Traditional Apache society was organized around matrilineal kinship systems, where children belonged to their mother's clan and inheritance followed maternal lines. This social structure aligns remarkably with the genetic patterns revealed through mitochondrial DNA studies, which show the importance of maternal lineages in tracing Apache population history and connections to broader Nadini peoples. The persistence of matrilineal social organization despite centuries of external pressure demonstrates the deep cultural foundations that parallel the genetic continuity revealed through molecular studies. The Apache relationship with the landscape of the American Southwest reflects both their northern genetic heritage and their adaptive capacity as newcomers to desert environments. Unlike their northern Athabascan relatives, who lived in boreal forests and tundra, Apache peoples developed sophisticated adaptations to Sonoran and Chihuahuan desert ecosystems. They became expert desert botanists, utilizing hundreds of plant species for food, medicine, and material culture. The mezcal harvest, involving the roasting of agave hearts in large pit ovens, became a defining economic and ceremonial activity that brought together multiple Apache bands in seasonal gatherings. These ecological adaptations demonstrate how genetic heritage provided the biological and cultural foundation for successful colonization of new environments. Apache warfare traditions and social organization reflect the complex demographic pressures revealed through genetic studies of population bottlenecks and admixture events. The Apache reputation as formidable warriors developed partly as a response to conflicts with expanding Comanche and Ute populations on the plains, Spanish colonial pressures, and later American territorial expansion. Apache military tactics emphasized mobility, intimate knowledge of desert terrain, and small unit operations that maximized their advantages against larger but less mobile enemy forces. These military traditions helped Apache groups maintain territorial integrity and cultural autonomy, despite enormous external pressures, contributing to the genetic isolation that preserved their distinctive Nadine ancestry components. The role of women in Apache society provides crucial insights into how genetic and cultural heritage intersected with social organization. Apache women maintained primary responsibility for plant gathering, food processing, and the creation of material culture items, including basketry and hide work. They also played central roles in ceremonial life, particularly as spiritual specialists and keepers of traditional knowledge. Apache oral traditions and storytelling reveal sophisticated theological and philosophical concepts, that reflect both ancient heritage and local innovation. Apache creation stories describe the emergence of the first people from underground worlds, their relationships with supernatural beings, and the establishment of proper relationships between humans, animals, and spiritual forces. These narratives share structural similarities with other Nadine oral traditions, suggesting ancient connections that parallel the genetic relationships revealed through population studies. However, Apache stories also incorporate detailed knowledge of southwestern landscapes, plants, and animals, demonstrating the creative adaptation of ancestral narrative frameworks to new environments. The persistence of Apache languages, despite centuries of pressure toward linguistic assimilation, provides parallel evidence for the cultural mechanisms that preserved genetic heritage. The Southern Athabascan languages spoken by Apache groups maintain complex verb systems 
and grammatical structures that connect them to their northern relatives, while incorporating vocabulary and concepts specific to southwestern environments. Language preservation efforts in contemporary Apache communities often emphasize the connection between linguistic heritage and cultural identity. Recognizing that language carries the conceptual frameworks necessary for understanding traditional ecological knowledge, ceremonial practices, and social relationships. Contemporary Apache communities continue to navigate the intersection between genetic heritage, cultural traditions, and modern circumstances in ways that illuminate the ongoing significance of their ancient origins. Modern Apache artists continue traditional basketry and contemporary interpretations of ancestral art forms, while also developing new artistic expressions that reflect both heritage and contemporary experience. The genetic origins of Apache people represent a remarkable convergence of ancient human migrations, cultural innovation, and historical resilience that continues to shape contemporary Apache identity.